G'day guys, it's Tim Guest here and welcome to video two of our coronavirus series. So let's review the key takeaways from the first video in this series so far. For five years, we've been educating you to expect the mid-cycle slowdown in 2020. The mid-cycle slowdown is a short-term phase in an average 18.6 year global land cycle. The mid-cycle slowdown is historically a stock market correction, but does not include a land value correction. To be clear, we did not expect a global pandemic. However, while the stock market correction occurred seemingly caused by the coronavirus, uncertainty had been building in the market for the past two years, particularly on the back of the US-China trade war, Britain leaving the European Union, and increasing tensions in the Middle East and the South China Sea. The, viral, the virus excuse me, was simply the final straw that broke the back of the share market bull. Currently, experts are predicting infections to peak somewhere over the next one to four months. Increased social distancing and isolation measures are expected to impact that number further too. These measures will of course amplify the number of industries, businesses and people impacted, but it will also shorten the time frame. Service sectors like hospitality, tourism, accommodation and travel will bear the brunt of the impact while sales of goods are soaring with panic buying and transitioning to a more isolated lifestyle occurs. The largest industry in both Australia and the states of Victoria and Western Australia is healthcare, and it will, financially speaking, also be one of the largest beneficiaries. Shortages in rental accommodation and residential housing construction will only deepen as buying decisions get put on hold and the supply gap deepens. This is good news for homeowners and investors, but of course no comfort if you or your loved ones are one of those impacted. My heart goes out to you and there is lots of help available more than we've ever seen before. But since 1800, each cycle has been bigger than the last, so we shouldn't be surprised either. Governments are supporting individuals and businesses whose incomes are affected with cash payouts. Many banks are offering up to six months hardship periods with no impact on your credit history to those unable to pay. Unsecured government-backed bank loans are now available to businesses impacted as well. I have created a video and a blog article for anyone experiencing difficulty and what immediate relief there is available. It will take care of a lot of concerns many have. Of course, please feel free to reach out to us at any time via your client manager or one of our social media channels. It's also wise to be cautious of the media at this time, social and traditional. Bad news sells and the echo chambers created by social media only amplify the uncertainty with fear, rumour, armchair experts and the opinion of any celebrity, sports star or influencer who cares to make one. Real estate transactions will be impacted as the market slows significantly with the restriction on home opens, inspections and auctions. Because the drop off is anticipated to be short term and in both buyers and sellers, no significant impact on value is expected. This is also supported by the characteristics of property. While an asset, it's also an essential commodity that provides shelter, whether to the owner, occupier or tenant. In times of uncertainty, this demand for shelter is largely unaffected. This is where the term safe as houses comes from. Further to this, because of the safety of property as an investment, historically, it's also normal to see investors move their money out of the stock market and into property during these times. Property is also a low volatility asset due to the time required to complete transactions. Shares can be bought and sold in a second. Property, however, can take several months to prepare, list, sit on the market, negotiate, accept an offer, obtain finance, and then settle. Because of the time involved, we don't see panic selling and buying like we've seen in shares and, of course, in the toilet paper aisle at our local supermarkets. These characteristics of property are why there is no historical evidence of housing market corrections after these mid-cycle slowdowns. In fact, times like these are when the big players in the market make their move. Just this week, it was reported that one of the wealthiest landowners in Western Australia, Nigel Satterley, just completed the purchase of $200 million of land in Perth in Melbourne. We should also consider the fundamentals of the current Australian housing market. These fundamentals are very strong, and while nearly every capital city and most regions have been recording gross in recent times. Let's start with housing supply. For the past two years, the ABS has been reporting significant reductions in the number of dwellings under construction. This has now flowed through to the rental market with every capital city in Australia undersupplied with rental accommodation. On the demand side of things, the threat of, lab of a Labor government is gone. Restrictions on interest-only loans, investor loans and low deposit loans have now been removed. 
interest rates are at record lows and lower assessment rates allow applicants to borrow more. Banks were also forced to hold greater reserves to make them more secure just a few years ago, hence their liquidity and flexibility in being able to support mortgage holders experiencing difficulty. This corresponds with banks and governments not being overextended in the mid-cycle slowdown. Further increasing demand, our population is booming as we become one of the fastest growing nations in the Western developed world, putting further upward pressure on rental and house prices. Household budgets are doing better as we've seen tax cuts, interest rate cuts and the recently announced uh, government stimulus to put more money in people's hands. For investors, these interest rate cuts also mean their investment income inc increases as funding costs reduce. As an example, most of the clients who have conducted an annual review in the past year hold positively geared property and some are now taking advantage of 2.88% per annum interest only loans. That's the cheapest investor loan I have ever seen. It's these fundamentals that have driven growth in the Australian property market for the past 12 months. Over the last quarter, seven of eight capital cities recorded growth. So now we've covered all the cycles, characteristics and fundamentals. The big question left for people will now be, what should I do now? Well, as buyers and sellers try to figure out what this mid-cycle means for property, there is opportunities for those that know. For people who have a secure job and are ready to move, I recommend taking full advantage of the current chaos, cheap credit, nervous vendors, and beat the rush coming when certainty returns. The most successful investor in history, Warren Buffett, said when others are greedy, be fearful, and when others are fearful, be greedy. It's what the big players do, it's what I'm doing, and it's what you should be doing as well. Of course, it must be a comprehensive plan, purchasing the right house in the right area with the right strategy, including firewalls, buffers, and safety nets. So ensure you get professional advice before doing anything. As clients, our range of specialists are available to you, including finance brokers, financial planners, accountants, and property management. For people who have a secure job, but don't have a plan or their finances organized, get in contact with us now. It's time to get an annual review complete. Having your current strategy reviewed will provide you with confidence in your current circumstances and may even give you the pathway for getting into the market as soon as it's appropriate for you to do so. Now, if you do not feel secure in your job or you have more urgent financial needs, feel free to contact us if you need help. Otherwise, the next video is for anyone experiencing difficulty and what immediate relief is available. Stay tuned and see you soon.